Hey everyone, welcome back. July 27th on Saturday. I just wanted to do a fast video regarding the comments for the GoFundMe thing. And although a lot of comments I got were like positive, like go for it and everything, one person and she made a good point and I tend to listen to her because she's she's really sharp. Uh, she's a fellow Canadian. She lives up in the mountains. That's uh, Diana. And she's the one that sent all the food and stuff for the cats. And uh, so I have a lot of respect for her. We uh, we talked briefly here and there, off, you know, off the YouTube and all that. So, anyways, um, maybe it's because we're older or something. But um, she feels the same way as like what got me to ask the question in the first place in my gut. I feel like GoFundMe shouldn't be used for frivolous stuff like that. That's frivolous. Okay. Um, I mean, if people wanted to donate, they can do it through the YouTube with PayPal. They don't need GoFundMe. But GoFundMe is a specific purpose to raise money for things. You know, there's families that raise money because of tornadoes and hurricanes and all that. And, you know, of course, now in California, it's a nice Dodge. Oh, fuck, I know who that is. <laughs> of course, it's a nice Dodge. One of my friends. Anyways. Um, uh, you know, the fires in California. Things like that. Um, that's necessary stuff. Poncho's tacos. I'm so tempted to stop there and get a taco to take home. I haven't had a taco in, I don't know, 20, 30 years. Taco Bell is probably the last one. Anyway, so I'll, uh, I'm going to put this one up quickly. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I like, I, I, like what Diana is saying, I just feel like that she's right, that it's frivolous. Like she didn't say frivolous, but that's the word I'm coming up with. But the point she made was, it's like, you know, it's like, that's a holiday thing. You know, it's not something that's really necessary in your life, eh? you know, and it's right. And then, you know, you feel like, okay, well, something comes along that's like really necessary and you've done something frivolous like that. People are going to be like, nah, I don't think so. I mean, that's how I'd react, I think. Um, I've donated to GoFundMe's before. I have a friend that uh, is uh, fighting cancer, but successfully, thankfully. She started to go fund me because uh, between the doctor visits and all the stuff she's having to go through, even in Canada with our health system, she needs help with money and stuff. So, um, and she's like for real and respectable person. So, but anyways, I look at her doing that and she's never, she hasn't met her goal yet. It's been a couple of years she's been on there. But uh, so I'm going, that's necessary absolutely necessary she hasn't really got anybody else to help her she's certainly not a rich person and now that she's been sick she can't work so I mean it's just one thing after another so that's the kind of thing I would think that GoFundMe would be for it's like when I say well you know what I'm not doing Scorsese I'm gonna do all this fancy editing like a lot of these youtubers do you get what you get well that's what YouTube was originally intended for you know, it wasn't for people to make uh, epics. I mean, the idea of YouTube is regular people looking at regular people. That's how I took YouTube to be. But anyway, I mean, change his own, right? I mean, that's the beauty of YouTube. You can do what you want. But I just think the original intention was more like what I do or Dave from, you know, Dave's RV Life, people like that. Um, you know, Brian, uh, what's his name? Brian Gaylor out there out west. Uh, 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 where is he now? Arizona, because he's doing all that off-grid stuff in the desert and all that. Um, so, but it's raw. It's not Scorsese. So, but anyway, that's us. So, like I said, to each his own. But, uh, um, uh, so I just feel the GoFundMe is kind of like, you know, the original intent for that was for non-frivolous things. So anyway, this is coming up on five minutes, so I'll end it. I got my point across, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Um... And I don't see anybody coming up with an argument to counter Diana's, or like counter, not an argument, but a counter opinion. Um, and like I say, maybe it's because we're older and it's just like, okay, this doesn't feel right. You know, you're begging for money, which out here people just don't do, you know, but I get caught up in this YouTube thing, you know, um, but I'm better to do it the old fashioned way and uh, stick with that. So, and that's why I say, with me and Diana being, you know, our age group, it's it, that thinking tends to prevail. So, to my friend Diana and family out west, out there living on the side of the mountain, and I don't laugh because it's funny, because if you've ever seen a picture where she lives, they live in mountains on the side of a mountain, and I think that's pretty cool. So, anyways, 
one of these days that bus will sell I'll be able to get an RV and I'll be able to go out and visit them and of course my you know my little girl I call my uh, sister out in Comox and her husband and so on and so forth so turns out my friend Abby and her husband never did move back to Campbell River they were supposed to when they got married so I missed the wedding here but they're still out in Osgood and I'm like so we're, we just started talking I'm like well you're still here I said geez I was headed out to Comox by gotten this bu a bus I might have gone there this winter you know to get out of the get out of the slushy crappy shit here you know and just go whatever but I wanted to look at properties too in Vancouver just to see what's out there um, and uh, anyways whatever the case is they didn't move back out there so it's like oh okay um, and then my friend Robbie lives in uh, and his son live in Abbotsford and I would really love to see him and his son so Robbie uh, if you ever see this and Zach if you ever see this I'm trying to get out there, guys. We've had a technical situation with the, the bus. Okay, anyways, I'm ending this. I don't want it too long on this one. So thank you, Diana, as always, as always. You're just one of those people that says what's gotta be said. And uh, I don't have to like it, but I sure as hell will agree with it. Now I agree, and I do like what you said this time. I'm just saying, you know, like when you say stuff, I hear you loud and clear. So I find you to be very intelligent, smart, you know. Um, what else do you want me to say? Uh, so, yeah, I listen. Okay, everyone, be good. Same as always, please like, share, and subscribe. We finally broke the 420 mark. So, there you go.